here and welcome back to my channel and in today's episode as you can see from the title um, I'm going to be filming and showing you what I promised for a while which is event dressing and um, an easy way and the look that I got um, inspired with was actually from a bestie from a Canther Bay bestie a long time ago, I know this looks terrible, doesn't it, the way I've typed this, but a long time ago, and I thought her look was so good, and I can't remember her name, and that's just, I mean, that's me all over, um, but if you are watching this and you recognise the look of it, thank you. you, you really helped me. Now, I don't go to a lot of events, if I'm honest, but the ones that i have had to in the past i've always i don't know about you but i've always fretted about um what am i going to wear how am i going to feel big depending on my size and oh it's just been horrendous and i think a lot of a lot of ladies i, I, I can't speak for men but a lot of ladies go through that you go through your closet and think what can i wear and you try on something you've previously got and it doesn't fit and oh and then you gotta go shopping so i saw this look and i thought what a great way of doing it and then secondly i want something that can be just kept in a wardrobe or kept in your closet that it doesn't matter what your size is as well whether you lose weight put weight on etc etc but i don't want it to cost a lot of money and and also um it should cover a lot of different events okay okay so the look is something inspired by another lady but i want to show you my basics that i always keep for an event okay any kind of event whether it's a wedding a christening can't say about a funeral yet i don't know but you know events um something that you've been invited to that you've got to dress a little bit smartly and I also want to incorporate an aspect of Canva Bay in it as well. So my first basic for the day would be um, a set of the press on nails and you can get whatever you want. They're very easy. I've done a video. Um, if you already have great nails, great. But I think they just elevate the whole look, make you feel a little bit more put together. These are the Impress Couture and these have little diamonds on them. These last for about a week. Very easy, very easy to use. And I would say a nice pair of nails if you want to. And these are, you know, they're the um, French manicure ones, but they just have some little diamonds on that just elevate it a little bit. The second thing that we always fret about is shoes. What shoes am I going to wear? And I have a staple pair um, in my closet. <laughs> I just have the one pair and I have mine are nude. I just went for nude. Didn't go for black because that I just went for the nude. Um because they will they will just flow with the lines of how white my legs are. So mine are just they're by dream pairs. I got them off Amazon. Um uh, these are a size nine and the heel on it is a little kitten heel. And they are just patent and they're just passing like that. And 99% or 100% of the time, I'm in Birkenstocks and Uggs and really comfortable shoes. For an event, I think you, well, I do, I like just to elevate my look just a little bit. And just having one pair of, of um, shoes in, I think, helps. If you don't like open toe, you can get a closed toe. I just like the fact that they're open toe and I just make sure that my, my feet look good. <laughs> About a week before I start cleaning my feet so they don't look like elephant husks. Um, <laughs> and then the kitten heel. I used to be able to wear the really high heels. Uh, screw that. So I'll go for a kitten heel. I don't like the flats because it will, it will make me look too flat. I just want a little bit of lift and you'll see why. So I just go, I think these are blush um, and most of the um, basics I have are in sort of a blush colour, just a nice warm blush colour. So those are my shoes. The next thing I have, and I only have one of, 
is an evening bag. Okay, keep mine in here. All these were from Amazon and they're not expensive. And there's lots of different choices of evening bags, lots, lots of different prices. For me, I wanted something plain that would, was in the same kind of colour scheme as the shoes. Um, this one has just a tiny gold trim there, snaps open and has, so you can put it on your shoulders or you can just carry it and that's the inside. The reason I went for a patent looking one is because it can be cleaned down and if you go for a fabric one, over time things can spill, they can spill at the event, etc. We've got COVID, you want, to, you want to wipe stuff down. So for me, I went for a plain patent. I just want that plain with the shoes and it's a very simple bag, but it'll go for, to any event. I don't need to keep buying stuff. Okay. Uh, I have two pieces of jewellery that I keep for an event and I have a pair of earrings and I have a necklace. What I'll do is I'll show you these when I show you the put together. Okay, I have two. So what it is, is it's a dress. Okay. Now this dress, um, the lady that I saw, she said she got hers from Shein. I went to Shein, they didn't do it in plus size. So I, I, I get mine from Amazon and I've got two different colours. I have a pink and I have this. So I've got a day, summer, spring, etc. event. I've got a, you know, more wintry sort of event where you're going to wear darker. And the dresses are very plain. They're from Amazon. And it's just a plain, simple, I think it's called A-line. With, um, I forgot what this is called, pleating. And it has pleats on it. I'm not sure if you can see. So it is a pleated dress. It's lined. It is polyester or whatever, but that's okay. It's just a cheap dress, but trust me, <laughs> I didn't. You don't. I didn't want to spend a lot of money for a, for an event, but I want to look nice with it, um, and I wanted something that's sort of knee length. And this, these go up to a two X or a double XL, which is a two X. It's by the brand LMS. LMS. I'll, I will put the link down. And they're only 28.90 and what i'm going to do now i'm going to show you her on okay for wearing the light colored dress i would obviously wear a nude colored tank and nude colored boy shorts okay and then underneath my tank i've got the little nipple petals on okay so let's just quickly do this so you don't have to see too much of my body now, and then you can see what it looks like on. This colour that I got was the blush, which goes well with my skin tone. And they do, I think they do 10, 15 different colours in these. They're really good. And it has the under, it has an under bit. And then it just goes on, nice and simple. I don't care if the straps show here. I'm not that fussed about it. You could still wear a bra or something. Or, I mean... I'm not like that anymore. I don't, I'm not that. I'm not that bothered. Um, if it bothers you, then you could always wear a bra or something that that you feel more comfortable in. But this is what the dress looks like on. It's just plain and simple, okay? And it comes about knee length, and that's good because the knee goes in like this. I want it to hit that part there, and then you know you just got your leg with the shoes below. So it's not going to make you look fatter is what I'm saying. I'm going to make your legs look fatter. So this is just the plain, 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 plain dress. Okay, so now I'm going to start showing you how I'm going to elevate this dress for an event. Let's get the shoes over and done with. Putting these on is an absolute nightmare at the moment, you know, when I'm filming. They're not a nightmare normally, but when you're filming, you've got to bend down. And <laughs> so these are going to be the shoes. Got to be honest, about a week beforehand, I would probably go and get my toes done. I'd probably go and get, you know, a nice French. I like the French manicure, which is the white tips. 
so I'd probably invest a little bit of money maybe 20 30 bucks on that and just go and get my toes done because I know I'm going to be wearing open toes and then let me just do the other one for you guys I like shoes that are with a strap on that are going to keep my feet in I've done the ones before that don't have a strap across and <laughs> my legs can come out so you can see how it just elevates you just a slightly okay like I say, heels are not easy for me to wear these days, so I went for a kitten heel. A wedge would do it as well, a small wedge, but these are just nice and plain. Okay, so now I'm going to try it on with the kimono. I'm going to show you how it looks. So I've got a couple of different kimonos, and what I did when I purchased the dresses, I tried to find the colours that they had that would match some of the colours in my kimonos so this is a solace kimono and i want to show you how to do the belt on it uh, which i think is a really good idea so as it is nice so what you do is you don't do your belt as you normally would what i do is i feed, feed it through the little hole either side <laughs> If I can find, do this beforehand and then you don't have to mess around. So feed it through like this. Okay. This is just so you don't lose the belt at an event, but you want to give yourself a waist. Then what I do is when I've got it sort of lined up to where I want, hold this piece <laughs> and then go back on it. And then just tie a little knot. Did that do it? No. You tie a little knot in the one side. Is that still in? Yeah, to keep it. I was going to have to take it off, guys. I can't do it this way. Oh, okay. You don't want the knot there. You want the knot to be around where the opening is. There, where you've just threaded. You want to just knot up that little bit just slightly okay that will keep it on there and then the other side hopefully I haven't lost any of the give on this but you just knot that and that just makes sure that you don't lose the belt because there's nothing worse than belts falling off then once they've both been knotted onto it get the back and knot the whole thing up to give you a waist so you see without it it's like that now to give yourself a waist i can't see what i've done you want to knot it up just a wee bit make sure you get your waist where you want it i do all this ahead of time okay so now in the back you have your belt and you can you can adjust just it and get it ready before the event this is just for this video okay so now we've given ourselves a little bit of a, a waist the next thing i have is a necklace and i like rose gold this wasn't an expensive one but I don't want anything that's going to pull or tug on my dress. So this is just a rose gold one. It's got little bits of diamonds in it. I can't even see it without my glasses, to be honest. Oh, there it is. And it's adjustable. So you can bring it up, you know, it has two little baubles there. <laughs> okay. So that's that and then because everything else is kind of plainer you can go a little bit more zhuzhi on your earrings then I'm hoping this is looking okay to you guys I mean I know it's a bit you know I'm just throwing 
looks like I'm just throwing stuff. Obviously, before an event, you'd get everything, make sure you got no holes or, you know, nothing's torn or anything like that. But there's, there's your earrings. So this is it with the solace. bag you see everything sort of matches in the same color scheme and now you can see if you had a nice pair of nails on it would just elevate that whole look now if you don't have a solace and you want to wear a serenity I have a serenity this is in the pinks as well, it's in the same kind of colour scheme. And as we know, the Serenity is a little bit shorter at the front, but longer at the back. And I'm just going to tie this up at the back, give myself a little waist. If pink's not your colour, don't go for the pink. Go for the black, go for the blue, it's up to you. But I just chose, um, when I bought these originally, just colours that went with what I already have. And then, I mean, I think that looks nice. You, you, you guys let me know, it's very simple. I haven't spent a lot of money on the whole look. I mean, the, the, obviously this, the Cantha Bay was the most expensive, it's a piece of silk. I'm not going to sweat too much because obviously I've got no sleeves in the dress and it's quite airy and I've got boy shorts on under it so you know I feel I feel I feel like I'm, I'm going to have trouble <laughs> um, and the only the only paint I suppose I'm going to have is from the shoes because I'm not used to wearing them but I guess about a week before any event get your shoes out get them cleaned and then just for sort of 20, 30 minutes every day, just try them on, get yourself used to wearing them again. Okay. So that is the summer kind of, summery kind of look. Spring, summer, um, you know, a nice event that you go to. What I'm going to do now is just change it for the dark red dress so you can just see a difference. Excuse me, girl. I'm not going to take anything else off. But I'm going to use the same jewellery, the same shoes. <laughs> and uh, you all know I'm a plus size girl and this dress fits good. It just goes over your head. Bing, bing, bing. This is my favourite colour, this one, <laughs> obviously, it looks very good. But this is, this would be for, a, a, you know, sort of when, when the cooler kind of weather. On its own, it looks great. So now I'm going to try it with, I think this is a solace. Yeah, a solace that I have. And it has the trim in the red, which is the same colour as the dress. I think the back's already, yeah, the back's already done up. So this is it with the solace, and the solace means that it's more or less the same length as the dress, as you can see. So I've got the corresponding dark with that. I've still got the same shoes. I've still got the same jewellery. I don't have to spend any more money on anything else. Okay, so I think that's a really nice look. And then the last one. Oh, we're getting hot now, guys. <laughs> I will try it on with the Serenity in the darker. This is showing up really, really bright on screen, but trust me, it is a dark, it is quite dark. It is more muted than that. So let's get the Worry too, I'm not going to worry too much that my bag and my shoes are, are plain. Don't bother me. I'm not going to waste any extra money on something for one event. But I would feel, you know, let's face it, you put your bag on the table or put your bag down and you go and 
mingle, talk to people, do etc etc. And I would feel very smart. Secondly, I've got gap for you know if uh, if you overeat or if you just get swelly belly or or anything like that. But I do think it's a very smart, very nice look. And that really is just utilising a plain dress. And that is why um, in my daily life, I like a lot of colour, I like a lot of pattern, etc, etc. And if you're happy going to an event like that, absolutely perfect. I just know that the ones I've been to, um, it's just nicer just to have a bit more plainer here shoes and my bag plain and then the overgarment can, can be a little bit can be you then and the good thing about these dresses is that you can wear them for other things this is i mean that was my event look but just with a little Just with a little shrug, even for a brunch of some kind. I mean, I'd easily, um, if I had an event to go to, if I did, never really, <laughs> if I did have something to go to, then I could definitely wear something like this. And then the next day, if you want to, you know, I would definitely wear something like I've just showed you for the event. And then if you don't want to take too many clothes with you and you want to um, try and, and utilise the same things the next day, then why not? So I would change my shoes. Luckily, I've got a pair of shoes. So I've got a pair of shoes I would pop on and this is just the next day and then obviously this shrug I would change my necklace out because I would not need to be that sort of you know that would be for the event and then I'd just wear something that is more possibly this And then you're still using, I just wanted to show you a little bit of versatility that you don't just have to keep the dress, pop it in your wardrobe and do that. Let me just get my mala. So you could down downplay it the next day or even on the trip or whatever you've got planned and get more use out of it. If you don't like your legs showing. Don't know how long this video is going to be guys uh, okay let's get this done i would pop a pair of pants on underneath them wear it sort of almost like a tunic dress pair of pants i don't know how that looks guys but you could definitely go out does that look okay or does that look awful i'll let you tell me Let me get a belt. Blah, 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 blah. Just 
to downplay that it's because they're not just event dresses but that's what I use it for <laughs> so that that just pop on my trusted let me get my little mushroom necklace probably would wear it just like this to be honest I, I mean if you didn't if you were going on a trip to an event of some kind and you got a pack to travel I would definitely just I would definitely utilize the same piece I'm not, I'm not joking you could get three looks you could get one with a pair of pants you could get one without the pants and then you could get the actual event I made a lot of a mess of my room guys but what did you think what did you think of the event dressing of the dresses themselves um i think having basics just having a basic in your wardrobe a basic evening bag and basic shoes cuts down as long as you know the shoes fit and um you know it doesn't really matter what but i would for me, I found over time, I've, I've done all the other different colours and evening shoes. I found these go better. I don't have to wear tights then. And also a plain bag that can just be wiped down. And then my jewellery. I don't mind jewellery. It's usually not my jewellery. It doesn't have to be what I've particularly worn. It could be anything. But I don't mind judging it up. You can put on your really nice diamonds if you have them. And um, just the plain dress. So let's take it back down to basics. It's just the dress. I'll leave the dress on for you guys. Lulu's watching me like, Mama, what are you doing? And now we're back down to the dress. Like I say, I'm not overly sweating. So let me know. Did it help or did I just confuse you even more? <laughs> I'm hoping it did not just confuse you even more, but I think that if you already have a kimono of some kind, you've only got to have the one, choose some colours in it or choose a colour in it that you, you like, that you, you know, it could be any, any kimono that you like um, and then find a corresponding plain dress to go with it and then if it's, if black is your colour, get yourself the, the shoes in the plain black and the bag in a plain with a tiny tiny trim sometimes plain can can look a bit more elegant <sighs> okay my darlings um let me know what you think let me know if i confused you i'm hoping i didn't i tried to pack a lot into that i think i do that <laughs> i do that anyway you know and let me know what you think of um of the dress that I'm recommending that you use for an event. The bestie that I've seen on the bestie page um, wears a dress very similar to this with a kimono. She always looks absolutely stunning um, whenever she goes to events. And I think it's a great way just to have something in there in your closet that you can you can pick up that at the drop of a hat you ain't gotta worry about. You know, you ain't gotta worry about it not fit in here or here the stretch in this dress it has the lining already in it and i think that i, I really like, i really like it um i've got to say i think it's very very versatile and for the price it's it's amazing i'll put the links to everything down below so you can take a look yourself and let me know in the meantime thank you for subscribing thank you for watching Thank you Meredith as well for, um, if you're still watching, uh, for just jogging my memory on the event dressing and love you all.